4 double factorial is 4 multiplied by 2. 4 multiplied by 2. So we got that I3 is equal to 1 minus 1, 4, 2. And what it will be? It will be 1 minus 1 over 8. So 1 minus 1 over 8 we will have to put here that this is 1 minus okay now I have to t0 here then t1 here yes we will have this thing 1 minus 1 over 8 and 1 over 8 will be 8 minus 1 so we got 7 over 8 so this will be 7 over 8 and i4 we know the t is not getting any r4 so i4 is 0 similarly i5 and so on we can calculate so for k means getting here positive so we are having that for k to be greater than 0 means k positive the general result the general result will be i 2k minus 1 is equal to minus minus 1 to the power k 2k minus 3 double factorial divide by 2k double factorial like we are having means we will have to exclude that value when k is 1 then we are having minus 1 factorial and we don't want that not minus 1 factorial so for k being positive this 2k minus 1 if we replace by k 2k minus 1 then k is 1 so we will have positive value here for k equals 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now the non-zero expansion coefficient for the hemisphere were AL equals 2L plus 1 over 2 and VIL is we did earlier so we will have to use l equals 2k minus 1 is from here so our coefficients a l will be equal to 2 into first right v and e to the power okay we will have to write a L here so a 2k minus 1 and then 2 into 2k minus 1 for L we will have to write 2k minus 1 plus 1 for V I will write V here and for I L I will write this expression where L is this so this is equal to minus 1 to the power k plus 1 so 1 minus 1 from there and minus 1 into minus 1 so we got k plus 1 and 2k minus 3 double factorial divided by 2k 
double factorial. So while when a will be when 2k when l is 0 means 2k minus 1 is equal to 0 then we will get a0 so this is a l i will write 2k minus 1 so when 2k minus 1 is 0 we got a to the power 0 so 1 so this is v this is 0 so we got only 1 and here we got 2k minus 1 double factorial so we again got 0 factorial there and this will imply that a0 will be equal to our potential v. So a0 is our potential v and now is the solution of our potential was equal is the solution k okay. so let me write here is the solution of our potential of our potential was that phi r theta is equal to summation on L from 0 to infinity and A L r to the power L A L r to the power L T L of cos theta so our equation will become this implies that our equation will become that phi r of theta is equal to v minus v and summation on k runs from 1 up to infinity r over a 2k minus 1 and 4k minus 1 because I will have to expand here this is 4k 4k minus 2 plus 1 so 4k minus 1 and I have combined a and r as well because here r power is l so r power will become 2k minus 1 and here a is having power 2k minus 1 so i have written r over a whole power 2k minus 1 and then it will come out to be 4k minus 1 so i have to write 4k minus 1 and then 2k minus 3 it will come as it is 2k minus 3 double factorial whole divided by 2k double factorial and this one is multiplied with minus 1 to the power k so minus this is multiplied with Okay, this is multiplied with minus 1 to the power k and pl so for l i will write 2k minus 1 and cos of theta so this will be my expression for phi and if i expand the first few terms then phi r theta will come out to be v multiplied with 1 plus so expand this for k equal to 1 first what we will get 
when k is equal to 1 then we will get 2 minus 1 so 1 so it will be just r over a so we will get 1 plus because 1 we have got from here is we got v is common and the minus sign we will adjust from here when k is 1 so this is minus 1 this minus and this minus make it plus here and we write r over a and this is to the power 1 then we write the next term and the next term will be when k is 1 so this is 3 when k is 1 this is minus 1 so minus 1 into 3 will make this thing minus 3 and here when k is 1 so this will make this 2 double factorial which will come out to be 2 so we got 3 over 2 here and then we will get this one we have already done so k is 1 so this will be p2 minus 1 1 p1 cos of theta p1 and cos of theta plus the other i will not do step by step but i will write and one can simplify this one so i will get r over a cube and 7 by 4 2 4 2 r 8 because it's 4 double factorial and p 3 of cos theta plus plus r over a to the power 5 because here we are having our a 1 here 3 here 5 and then 11 and 3 and here we will have 6 4 2 a 6 double factorial when k will be 3 so we will have 6 double factorial 6 double factorial is 6 4 2 and p 5 of cos theta because k 3 3 2 6 minus 1 5 cos theta minus the next term will be minus r over a and here we are having r 5 so here we will have 7 because when k is 4 so we have 8 minus 1 7 and this will be 15 5 3 15 5 3 this will be 8 6 4 2 and p 7 of cos theta and so on so we got closure here now this is our solution of phi of r theta for a hemisphere with hemispheres a two different potentials and this is for the inside of the sphere now if we would like to find out for the outside of the sphere or outside of the sphere now we can look at our equation here and as we wrote there we were having we were having the a l for outside of the sphere will be zero while the b l will be non-zero now for the a l i was having r to the power l while for the b l i was having 1 over r l plus 1 
So now what I will have to do here I am having R over E n to the power L. So R over E to the power L and when I want to have the solution for outside of the sphere then this will go to first we will reciprocate because here r to the power l we are having r to the power a here so it will become r over a will become a over r so we will have a over r and what about the power the power will be as we have reciprocated this one so this will be the power will remain the same as l plus one as we have reciprocated this one again we will have a r to the power l plus one here so if we do this substitution and let's say this is our equation first if we do this substitution in equation first, we will get the solution of the hemispheres a different potential outside the sphere. So, although the derivation is difficult, but the solution or uh, the substitution in the solution is very easy. And this way we have found the potential of two hemispheres at different potentials.